G'day everyone, Virtual Conquer 85 here, and welcome to the third tutorial of editing Zeus Renewed. And in today's video, we're going to be adding in waving water. Uh, what this does is sort of displace the texture to make it appear that it's bobbing up and down against the block against it. Uh, just note that this one can take a couple of frames here and there, especially in larger water areas. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first we need to download the provided text document that will be in the description part of this video, which will contain all the extra code needed to make waving water work. Next, you'll need to open gbuffers underscore water dot fsh, as well as the shader property so we can add in the defines for turning it on and off and making a few extra changes to it. Alright, so the very first thing that we're going to do is remove these two slashes just there and we're going to copy so control C and control V on line 4 now if you don't have a space on line 6 just make sure that you know if it's like that go behind it push enter just so there's a bit of space where we can make sure that the number the line numbers stay the same Alright, so next on line 35, just at the end here, we're going to hit enter twice and we're going to copy and paste that line of code in. Alright, next we're going to come down to line 101 and we're going to copy this line of code here and paste it just there and hit enter to make sure there's a space and lastly we're going to go down to line 48 which I will correct this so you guys won't have to worry about that and copy from there down to there All right so you got the geo position dot Z same there and paste over the top all right so once it is saved we'll come back up to the top and we'll double click on the waving water go control c and we'll move to our shader properties in here we'll go to the screen dot water options at the end hit space control v We'll come back up to the top in this one here. Go control C on the water wave speed. Hit space, make sure there's always a space. Control V. And last one, control C. And control V. With that done, we can save and we can go check it out in Minecraft. Alright, once you're back in Minecraft, you can go to your options, video settings, shaders, and double click on your Zeus renewed shader that they've been working on. In there you should be able to come into your tutorial options, water, and in there you'll have your waving water and your speeds to change the up and down movement of it. And there you go. You'll have your waving water that will bob up and down. Like I said, you can come back into your ad, uh, shader options and you should be able to turn it off without it crashing and back to normal. Alright, so if this uh, video tutorial was of any use to you, perhaps hit the like button, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.